Hi students, today we're going to read The Gingerbread Man Loose at Christmas. This book was written by Laura Murray and illustrated by Mike Lowry. We have read other Gingerbread Man books, both some by Laura Murray and some that weren't by her. We've read lots of Gingerbread Man books. We're going to compare them, see how they're the same or similar, and contrast them, see how they're different. We will be thinking about our settings, our characters, the main events, that's the beginning, middle, and end, what happens in the story. And we'll also be thinking about the patterns, things that happen again and again throughout the book, or refrains, words that we hear again and again and again that are said by the gingerbread man. Let's read The Gingerbread Man Loose at Christmas and compare and contrast to our other gingerbread books. The Gingerbread Man Loose at Christmas by Laura Murray. One snowy morning, I popped from my bed. My teacher was calling, wake up, sleepyhead. The classroom was decked out in holiday lights. They twinkled and sparkled in reds, greens, and whites. It's the season of giving and we can give too. Our gifts can be things that we make, say, or do. A small act of kindness can go a long way. Let's do something special for someone today. We'll make something sweet. I'll say something kind. I'll do a nice favor or all three combined. And when we're all finished, we'll walk down our street and deliver our gifts to the neighbors we meet. I'll think of a present. I know that I can. I want to give too. I'm the gingerbread man. Some children made cards and others baked treats. A few practiced singing with jingle bell beats. I wanted my present to be a surprise. I thought and I thought. Then I grabbed my supplies. I knew just the person I'd give this gift to with glitter and glue. I'll deliver this present as fast as I can with a jolly ho ho from the gingerbread man. The town was so merry, the storefronts aglow. Each window was frosted with white icy snow. Hmm. Is there a problem in this book that we've found yet? Nobody's trying to eat them. They seem to be making presents for people, either by making something saying something nice or doing something kind for someone. And the whole class is traveling throughout the town to do this. We stopped a police lady, sang her a song. We smiled really big as she waved us along. Fa la 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 la, so they're singing for them. Next came a garbage man picking up trash. So we dropped off some goodies to stash on his dash. These are the goodies. Oh, they look like cookies. We popped in the library, stopping to say, thank you for all that you do every day. Sometimes a nice gift is somebody saying thank you. We raced to the dentist, the grocer, the vet, delivering cheer to each neighbor, neighbor we met. They all seemed so happy and very surprised. They gave us bear hugs and a few even cried. Not sad tears, they were happy. A whipping wind blew and it started to snow. Our teacher said, children, it's time that we go. I patted my pocket, then started to fret. That means to worry. So he started to fret. I still have my present, I can't go back yet. But the class didn't hear me. The wind was too loud. They all headed back through the holiday crowd. Oh, look at our gingerbread man. The illustrator gave us all these little lines around him and his mouth turned upside down and a little frown, but it's open. He looks worried. And his class is heading away. They didn't hear him. So they left him behind and he needs to deliver his present. Is that a problem? It is, yes. 
I'll search on my own as fast as I can. I'll dash through the snow. I'm the gingerbread man. I waved at the barber, the friendly bookseller, the doctor, the florist, and the busy bank teller. I must find the neighbor I made my gift for. She helped my class make me. Oh, where is her store? The sidewalks were slick as I tripped and then tumbled. I noticed my feet were all mushy and crumbled. My icing was dripping. My legs were just dough. I had to get out of this wet, squishy snow. This book rhymes. How is that similar to other gingerbread books that we've read? Are there other gingerbread books that rhyme? Then finally I saw it, that one special store, a sign that said, Big Shop, hung over the door. I'll hobble right over as fast as I can. I'll leave my gift too. I'm the gingerbread man. So this is our changing refrain. It's not the same every time. Parts are the same, but some is not. So it's a changing refrain. Have we had one of those in another gingerbread book? Which one? The baker reached out and said, how do you do? I'm the gingerbread man and I'm glad I found you. I've come to say thanks for your sweet recipe. Without it, my class would have never made me. I have something for you, my very best card. I used lots of glitter and worked really hard. She gave me a smooch saying, you made my day. Then she glanced at my legs with a look of dismay. What's wrong with his legs? They melted, they're all mush. His cookie was crumbling. Are your legs feeling crummy? I know a quick fix. We'll give them a dip in this dark chocolate mix. These boots will be cozy and look really cool. They'll keep your feet dry on your way back to school. I'll run in my boots as fast as I can. Thank you so much from the gingerbread man. I dashed back to school under winter white skies. I hope I'm not late for our last big surprise. I zoomed down the hall, then slid into place. I joined all my classmates, a smile on my face. Our teacher looked puzzled, but curious too. We have one more present, a poem just for you. You are a gift that we get every day. You help us to learn in our own special way. You're funny and kind. You're the best teacher ever. You say, way to go, and you're ever so clever. Now that we know we're smart cookies too, we made you a super gigantic thank you. Our teacher bent down and she gathered us in with a warm-hearted hug and a very big grin. My classmates grinned too. We had pulled off our plan. Merry Christmas to all from the Gingerbread Man. Thinking about our characters and our setting, how is this book similar to other Gingerbread Man books that we've read before? How is it different? What characters were the same? What characters were different? Thank you for reading this book with me today.